Hello, North Atlanta family. I want to take a moment and share a passage of scripture with you and an important announcement about our upcoming live stream worship. This scripture is from Psalm 27. It's a Psalm of David, and I'm going to begin in verse four. One thing I ask of the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. I cannot think of a more appropriate scripture for our times. The longing of David's heart It's the longing of my heart, and I know it's the longing of your heart. We know the beauty of coming together to seek the will of the Lord together, to seek through the word of God guidance for our lives. We also know what it means to come and gaze upon the beauty of the Lord in praise, praise that transforms us. We also know what it's like to come together and to take care of each other, to serve each other, to hear each other's needs, and to pray with one another. I miss that, and I know you do as well. This coming Sunday, January the 10th, we are going to begin our live stream worship. Now, some have asked, um, will that include a chat? And yes, it will. You will be able to log on about 10 minutes before the service at 9.50. The service will start at 10 o'clock. Others have asked, well, will will we be able to continue to interact and connect with one another during the service in the chat? And the answer is yes. That's proven to be such a wonderful source of connection and encouragement. But here is the change. We had planned to resume on campus worship this Sunday as well. But due to the post-holiday COVID surge, overflowing hospitals, advice from our medical personnel and the CDC, as well as the impact of COVID on our church family, the elders have decided that we will delay the resuming of on-campus worship until February 7th. Yes, COVID is impacting our church family. In fact, it's impacted some of our volunteers that help us with the worship service. It has impacted some of our staff. For some of you, we know it's impacting your lives, and some of you have shared with us that that the symptoms are light. For others of you, they have been devastating. We also know that many of you have been impacted tragically by losing someone to COVID. You are grieving. We are grieving with you. Our hearts ache all the time for you. That's part of the reason we want to get back together. But we know we have to do it safely in a way that honors God and honors each other. So we are going to begin live streaming from the auditorium this Sunday, January 10th at 10 a.m. You can get on at 9.50 and begin connecting in the chat Our plan is to resume on-campus worship on February the 7th. In between that time, there's Bible classes through which you can connect. There's prayer meetings that are online. You can remember also our food drive and bring your food donations this week to the undercover parking and drop them off in one of the blue barrels. You see, even though because of COVID, we can't resume on-campus worship, That doesn't mean that the ministry and the mission of God ever stops. One thing for sure, we've learned how to get around a lot of barriers in the last 10 months, and we're going to overcome this one because what we know is this, no matter how much we want to get back together, we can see a glimmer of hope. We can see a safe way to do it in the near future. And so we're going to keep persevering so that that can become a reality. I want you to know how much I miss you, how much I love you, and how much I long for the day that without a mask on and with warm hugs, we can greet each other again. God bless you.